So, I said in my previous video that I ordered uh, quite a bit of stuff for my Razor. So, um, I just got in the windshield. Uh, it's a tinted uh, half windshield that I'm going to throw on really quick. I'm not going to make a big deal of that just because, I mean, it's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory, but I mean, obviously, I'll kind of go through it really quick and easy because it's really quick and easy. Also, um, I got... Uh, where are they? I don't know where they're at. I'll show you in a second. I got uh, lower doors, uh, the the bottom of the doors for the razor, and I got a mirror. So uh, we're gonna throw all these things on really quick. I'll show you guys the lower doors more than anything. Um, go through that and then kind of talk about like the kit that I got because it's a little bit different than. Um, most stuff that you see out there. I haven't seen any videos of this. Um, yeah, I mean, I've seen videos of lower door kits, but I have not seen any videos of these specific ones. So, and I'll show you what makes them so much different, so special, and I, what I thought was so cool. So, um, yeah, let's check these things out really quick, and uh, we'll start getting into it. I started to do it last night, and then I stopped. Um, you know, just got busy with other stuff, so... Um, Anyways, yeah, let's check these things out, and then we'll get into the uh, install process, and then we'll do the windshield and the mirror really quick, so. So these are the lower doors, and these are different. They come, they're plexiglass, but they're bent for the door. They're supposed to match up pretty good. Um, they're tinted. I know one of the biggest problems when I put on my other lower door kits was you lose all that vision out of there. So it kind of helps being able to see everything out of there, but not get all the shit on you. And then uh, it comes with the little triangle pieces that go in here, but I did find some issues with it. Um, I already got a hold of the seller about it. And they, uh, the little pieces that go around the bar right there, go through here, slip on, but as you can see, they don't go far enough to hit that hole. So probably going to have to drill a different hole but anyways on the door here it's pretty simple uh, you take out this screw right here that I already took out I did that last night you're going to take out this bottom one down here and then you're going to take out this back one over here There's their kit's a little different because it doesn't bolt into this factory bolt anymore um, like it has on previous kits that I've seen or had. You actually put a nut back here, which is going to be exciting to put in. It'll be a pain in my butt. But um, it goes through this hole. And then uh, this is just so that way I can push the skin back. I might even have to undo a couple more. So that way I can push the outer door skin out to get that nut in there. So I'm going to try to screw with that a little bit and try to get it popped in. And uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like, how it mounts up, and everything like that once I get it done. So we'll be right back. So I did have to take the whole door panel off, but it's pretty easy. You got one, two, three, four, five, and six little uh, Torx head screws. I don't know what size they are exactly. I think they are a uh, T10. So, and then that other one is a uh, T25, no, what is this one? This big guy down here on the bottom, I forget what he is, but it's bigger set. If you just have one of these guys, you'll be fine. Use that. And the supplied screw that they give you is a Phillips right here. And then for the nut, that goes on the back side right there. That's a 10 millimeter. So it fits perfect. Um, this thing's pretty thick, as you can see it right there. I mean, so don't be afraid to crank it down. I mean, don't go crazy with it, but I cranked on it pretty hard, made sure it wasn't moving, you know. So, um, yeah, so yeah. I'm going to throw the door skin on really quick, and I'll uh, peel this stuff off, and we'll take a look at the uh, finished product. Oh, and we have to put the... Uh, um, weather stripping around the edge here to seal everything up really nice so we'll uh, get to that and see what she looks like so now what we do take the weather stripping let's start it up 
here. Maybe. There it goes. You just start it and then work your way around. Unfortunately, I haven't bought a tripod yet, so I, uh, I'm going to put this down and then I'll show you guys what it looks like after I'm done, how it seals up, all that good stuff. Okay, got it all put back together. Got the outside door skin on, obviously, as you saw. Um, then I put the weather stripping on. Um, fits pretty good. Fits pretty snug. I mean, that's where it hits, and then that's where it latches. So, I mean, it, you know, everything pretty sealed up. Shouldn't get too much in there, if anything. So, and that's the finished product, what it looks like. Not a whole lot different, but I think it looks kind of neat with the uh, um, see-through bottom doors. Um, one thing that I would suggest you do um, that I didn't think of, I, I was trying to keep the protective plastic that it comes shipped in on there while I was installing everything. You can leave this side on, the inside on. Um, of course, my neighbor's got to ride his street bike, loud as fuck. Anyways, you can leave the inside on, but uh, once you pretty much get one bolt started or whatever Whatever the case is or at least peel it down far enough so that way you can get everything going But um, yeah, I forgot so I had to pull this back off and then peel the plastic out from underneath it and uh, Get in there. But yeah, so not too bad fits pretty good. I like it and uh, We'll see how it does on the trail, you know see how this holds up to uh, rocks hitting it because once again like everybody who has one of these knows that's where you get rocks and dirt and mud and shit and things so yeah so we're gonna move over to the other side now get this all uh, taken apart oops breaking shit but yeah so this uh, the other side's the same there's nothing different about it it's obviously just on the other side but like I said, you just take off this screw, this screw, this one, this one, this one, and this one for the outside skin. And then the only two that you need to remove for the actual panel is the inside or the furthest forward um, uh, hinge bolt and then this furthest back um, handle bolt because these two are what holds on your handle inside of here or your latch I guess you could call it so all right you kind of watched me do the other side I'm going to uh, finish this up I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done we'll throw in the windshield throw in the mirror and we'll call it good for now once I get the, uh, the triangle pieces for in here uh, figured out with the um, manufacturer um, then I'll probably just show you guys exactly how they go on it's pretty simple though I mean there's just little deals that go on to here you know it's not rocket science guys not like any of this is but uh, yeah so let me finish this up and we'll get to the windshield all right so I just finished up the driver's side um, so I figured it out the bits that you're going to need so this one down here the big one for the hinge point is a t40 then you're going to need a t30 for these and if i'm not mistaken let me go double check uh which one it was and a t25 for the other one. so t25 t30 and a t40 a Phillips head screwdriver and a 10 millimeter either socket or wrench whatever wrench worked just fine for me and uh, a pair of uh, wire cutters or you know tin snips or something because there is some metal in the uh, weather stripping so you're gonna want to cut that to length um, all the way around it does come in one piece which kind of sucks I wish it came in two separate pieces so that way you didn't have to fling you know one half around all the way around when you're doing one side um so yeah there's uh that we'll get in here and we'll look at it um, see what it looks like from inside 
Um, there is one thing that I already don't like, and I think it's because the weather stripping is so big that it pushes this out. So I might look into some different weather stripping, but uh, you know, I'm not gonna complain too much. It's pretty nice being able to see down there, you know. But uh, yeah. Um, also, when you guys are tightening up your outer door skin, I'm sure you know this, I shouldn't have to say this, but make sure not to tighten the door skins down too much. It's just little bolts or little screws going into plastic. And if you do it too tight, you're just going to strip the shit out of them. And then your plastic's pretty much screwed. Um, so yeah. But like I said, there's a finished product. Let's uh, throw this windshield on really quick. And should be it. I think uh, that's all I got. I've got a bunch more stuff coming. This is just, you know, for this. Um, I've got something coming. Here's a hint. Um that'll increase the power. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is. You'll see it when the video comes out. So, yeah, just stick around for that. But hopefully you guys like this part of it. I'll finish up that stuff. All finished up. Got the tinted windshield, tinted half. Should just be just enough to keep a little bit of wind off you. I didn't think that that half windshield did a whole lot, but uh, after not having one on this razor for a little bit on a couple of rides, you definitely notice how much more wind you get in your face, how much more dust gets in your cab, and uh, definitely how many more bugs you eat. Makes quite the difference and it pretty much sucks a lot of ass so I was gonna do the mirror but uh, I'll just do it later so it's not a big deal I mean obviously I've got more stuff to put on anyways uh, we're gonna go riding on Monday so stay tuned for that video this video will go up a day later than it's being filmed but not like you guys are gonna notice and so the day after that video I will have a riding video out of me and my buddy with his rig so check that out uh, if you have any questions let me know about the door bottoms or the windshield I'll put a link in the description for both of them so that way you can get them uh, these are called if I'm correct the spike uh, tinted door bottoms but not sure. let me read that really quick um, one thing I am definitely going to look into is different weather stripping for it. So, because um, I don't really care for the weather stripping that's on it. I think it's just too thick. Overkill. I think the stuff that's on the windshield would probably do better. Um, if you look at this stuff, it's a lot smaller. Um, and this stuff is just huge. It's just insanely huge. So, I don't know if they did that just because it's so thick, or what, so... Yes, these are the Spike Lower Bottom Tinted Door Inserts for the Polaris XP 900S uh, 2015 and newer, and then for the XP 1000 2013 and newer. So... Um, I'll throw that in the description. I think they're it's it's uh, Spike Motorsports, but I got them from RPM Power Sports on eBay. Uh, I buy a lot of my stuff on eBay just because I can get it for such a good price. So, yeah. All right, guys. Well, I hope you liked the video. Um, keep checking it out. Thanks for watching. Show your friends all that good stuff. Don't worry, I've got a new handle on the way for insulation so that way you can't hear the noise coming from my hand moving on the deal here because I know that's really annoying. It drives me nuts whenever I'm watching or I mean editing the video. So, but yeah, there she is, guys, and uh, stay tuned. We'll see you next time.